Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001, ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse, we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement. If you think I'll like it, put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs, Mero and Flora, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Yeah, I'm in the former billiards room, um, which has no power sockets currently. Um, so I put lighting in here a little while ago. Um, and now the job is to get the get some electricity power sockets to various points around the room. Now the problem here is that um, the two internal walls are only that thick, so I can't actually chase cabling into them. So realistically, because of the wood panelling, I can't just come up from in the cellar like I did in the other two rooms I've put sockets into. So in here, I'm going to have to do it with trunking, which is just horrible white plastic stuff that uh, luckily is paintable. So uh, we'll be able to disguise it, or Claire will be able to disguise it as best she can. So she's marked on the wall, in any case, some places where she'd like some double sockets. I don't have enough equipment that we purchased because when I bought it, I didn't really know what I would, would need. Um, anyway, I'll make a start with what I've got, and by the time I run out of bits, I'll know what I'm doing and know what other bits I'll need to buy to finish the job. come into the room through a hole and I'm going to drill through the wall above the door over there um, and then I've run the trunking so far along the top of that door down the side to the top of the moulding uh, the, the panelling um, I've run it all the way to the corner and to there where I've just fitted the um, housing for a double socket and, it, and then I've run the trunking up to there. I still need to do across the top of the door, down to where there's gonna be another double socket, that side of the door. Um, I will need... It's a brand new week here, woohoo! And this week, whilst Nick is just finishing off all of the electrics in the temporary dining room in the Maison de Maitre, I've decided that I've had enough of this kitchen. Um, I can't get rid of the kitchen because we don't have the time at the moment um, and there's no point in doing it, but we're going to keep these kitchen units 
but what I want to do to this room this week, I want to give it a lick of paint, just to make it a bit more like something that I would actually like to live in. Um, yes, it's full of our stuff, which is really nice, because it's our things, blah, 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 but I hate beige. I hate beige uh, <laughs> with a passion, I really do. This wallpaper is... I don't even know this, what this is. It's like a, a multitude of beige. It's like someone's having a beige party and I'm going to paint over this. I just want it to have a bit of a fresh look for Christmas. Um, yeah. I'm going to do some rearranging because at the moment it looks like a bomb site because I've started moving things ready to paint this room. But a quick look at paint. That's all I'm going to do. into painting this now and it's gone dark outside and it's raining and it's stormy and I've got to say I think I love this colour might show you it in the morning I've not gotten that far today as you can see behind me the walls are still yak beige but yeah, looking at the, the wall, it's, wow. It's amazing what a bit of paint can do, isn't it? So we're back in the former billiards room. Having gone out shopping the other day, bought, and they didn't have everything I needed. Um, so I'll be able to get all the sockets around the wall on this side fitted, but I've got one that I'm going to do over in the corner there. I'm, I'm short of one socket, so that's the one that I won't be fitting today. Um, but I've got all the equipment to get everything else wired in. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, get that all wired in. in the completely disorganised bomb site of a kitchen area. Woohoo! Merlo this morning would like to play with Sharky. Flora, how are you today? Flora, are you chewing your blankie? Everyone's a bit chilly, so we have the fire on. So just to recap where I am, we've put in one double socket there, another one here, one over there, and I've just connected one up over here, and we want one in the corner there. Um, and I think the easiest route to get power to that is by going through the wall that way, which is into the in-between the area, up, along, down, and into where the consumer unit is. So I'll get all the wires converging there, put connectors on, do all of that. So what I'm doing, I'm drilling a hole through the wall in the corner here. The other side of the wall, well, it's gonna be quite high up in that room. Um, and I have got, hmm, mains cold water pipe, for the whole house coming 
up the wall there, uh, a few electric cables and things. So um, I'm going a bit gently. I'm almost through, just judging by the length of the drill bit that I've been using. I've probably got about that much more to do. I'm going carefully because I don't want to go hell for leather and pop anything. through um, I'll go and show you the other side of the wall I just put this um, chunking through the wall I'll just go and show you the other side where it's come out yeah. so, here we go right behind that water pipe so um, bit tricky but uh, I'll be able to get the wires in there but yeah, lucky I didn't just go and didn't do any damage to that water pipe that could have made this afternoon go a completely different direction. Right, anyway. Right, so that is the final socket fitted. So we've got a double there, double there, 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 and there. So all of those wires arrive here so I've just got to get them all linked together and connected to the consumer unit turned the power back on and nothing's gone bang. Um, get the lights on in here. Good. All right. Well. Okay. So that's all working. Right. Um, right. I'm going to test a socket. Oh, it would probably work better if I Turn the circuit on. Will it work? Yay! Right. All ten sockets work. Yay! So, um, well, all that is needed now is a bit of a tidy up. And then uh, I can get back to the Jeep tomorrow and get on with work in there but I hope you'll agree good progress back in the kitchen this morning for day three of painting and I hope that today is going to be my final day of painting even though you can see I have not completed this wall behind me. I'm getting there. Um, where I've come into the kitchen this morning, there has been an accident, a really, really big tragic accident. I, I don't know whether we can get over this. Flora, can you give us a brief introduction into what has happened in this kitchen last night? It's something big, isn't it? If we look closely, we can see the innards. The innards of fluff. A waggly tail. Some more innards. There's been an accident in the workplace, hasn't there? What's happened, Merlo? Merlo, what have you done to Sharky? No! Sharky is going to have to be confiscated and fixed. We can't have this fluff all over. 
Sharky is imminently dangerous. We must save Sharky. No! It's day three, so I should really tell you just a little bit more about this paint job now. So my first colour that I'm using is this Dulux Cream Colour in black. And I'm just doing a couple of the kitchen beams just to make this really stand out. I've also been painting the doors. There's only two doors that I've painted in here, but they were really knackered white. You can tell from the back of this door that leads into the sausage factory. It had things over it like this. So yes, I painted the back of the doors. After I've done my black beam and underneath my black beam, I've done one, one lot of paint on the wall. I'm coming in, I'm going along here, I'm cutting in. I'm doing a second coat, ooh, because it's just absorbing into the wallpaper. I'm touching up the black and I'm just going steady because it's a big room. Also, I'm up here high in the air and I'm just about to paint this cooker hood and clean on top of some of the cabinets. Ugh. I wonder what colour it could be. Hmm. While I'm up here in my little corner, I found a piece of newspaper on top of the cupboard. But in the middle of it, there's a false widow spider. So I can't read the date at the moment because I'm too scared of the spider. I can now tell you that the spider has gone and this is from the 19th of September, 2014. Needed a good old clean. Well, back in the jeet. Um, so we're going to start today um, going through, filling in all the screw holes, have a go at jointing these boards, have a go at doing the joint between the ceiling and the walls all the way around. Um, yeah, just <laughs> need to start it and the quicker I start, the quicker it will be done. Come on, motivation, motivation. Okay, so that is the first part of the taping and jointing finished. Once it's all gone dry, it will be rubbed down and then more uh, filler put on there. But yeah, for now, good job done. For good behaviour and good productivity, I've been allowed out and I've brought my wife with me today as well. So we're out in the sun having a lunch. Wait if I didn't turn it to arrive. We're very keen. We are the first people here. It's not even midday. <laughs> it's not even midday. <laughs> but we're ready. <laughs> I will just add that this is the first time that I've left the house in a week. <laughs> After lunch, and of course, We've had to come and visit a Bricko shop. <laughs> He's in the next aisle along laughing. I am looking for something to do up the fireplace in the kitchen with. And I think this could be the one. You know all of those memes that you see on the internet where men go on about women getting ready and how long it takes women to get ready. I've been in here forever. I'm about to celebrate my next birthday. Today I want to day four of kitchen painting. Originally I'd only allocated two days to paint this kitchen, but with the super absorbent wallpaper and many other differing factors, 
it's taken four days. So I hope that today is my last day painting and putting everything back in the kitchen. I think another reason why this room has taken me so long is because I've actually wanted to do it properly, even though it's a, like a kind of one-time paint job. Um, I've actually done things like pull the furniture out and paint behind it rather than just being a pirate and painting around it. And I've pulled out the fridge and it actually says price in francs. Francs haven't been used for 20 years. So this is, it is an antique fridge. Yeah, so back in the sheets. So what I'm doing this morning, I've cleared the area down there, as you can see. Got my bucket of soapy water, got my mop bucket ready. There's only one other thing I need to get now, and that is my bucket of grout, which is being done in that lovely anthracite colour. I say lovely because, well, you'll see very quickly how everything just turns dark. I don't mean dark as in dark as in dark. Anyway, I'm not going to do it by itself. Nobody else. <sighs> Lovely, isn't it? Go on. finished that bucket so I'm going to go and wash it up just let this stuff go off a little bit and I'm going to come back and uh, give it a first light wipe over less than a quarter of what I've got to do. It's going to take me a while today. It takes me longer to clean it off than to put it on. But it's looking all right. Yeah, it's going to take me all day, I think. surface of the tiles it might, there will be a sheen probably in the morning where it's just dried as, as dust and that can be polished off but I've done it <laughs> yay so yeah another job off the list making progress My first job this morning has been to come out to one of the tool sheds to come and collect this. This here is my father-in-law's toolbox and I just placed it on the shelf last week while I was cleaning out in here because it's one of those rare things that is organised and I love it. I love how organised my father-in-law is and I know that where I'm putting something up today, there's going to be something in this toolbox that's just perfect for it. And it's going to be organised. One of my finishing off jobs for today for the kitchen 
is the fire. So I bought this paste earlier in the week and let's see how well it brings it up. I'm about halfway through and look how well this is coming up. This is obviously the half I've done and this is the half that I haven't. But it's brilliant because it's getting rid of all of the horrible rust stains on it. Isn't that amazing? Wow, I've just finished. Look, well, what a transformation that is. It looks just about new. And I seem to have touched my nose after doing the fire. <laughs> so anyway, after, um, after painting and decorating this room, the next thing I'm going to do is just the final touches of putting some bits and pieces up. It's half five on a Saturday evening and I finally finished our kitchen mini redecorate thing. Um, it's taken a bit longer than expected. I think I've told you a few times the wallpaper is like super absorbent. Um, I've moved some things around. I've given it a real good clean. I've cleaned the fire, I've polished the fire. Um, I've put up some more things of ours. I just wanted this to feel a bit more like our kitchen, even though it's still not my kitchen because it's not my choice of units or anything like that. It's it's workable, just, um, anyway, less of me wittering on. Um, I think it's time I showed you what I've done this week. I'm really quite proud of this. So, as you can see, the first thing I did was I painted two of the beams, one's up there, one's behind me. I painted them black, just so there was a bit of contrast. I also have painted both of the entry doors black. I've painted the NAF extractor hood in copper paint and I've rearranged my collection of copper pans that my father-in-law loves polishing. Some are hanging up from the ceiling, some are on the wall. I've got some picture frames over there, but I'm not 100% uh, decided on what to put in at the moment. I've given everything a really, really nice clean. Everything's got two, even three layers of paint on it, including all of the fun things that you don't normally see in a room reveal, like the skirting boards. There's the door through into the Maison de Maitre, that's been painted black. Reframed some pictures, moved some mirrors. Now what I have done, I've bought this lovely stainless steel table so that I can add to my workspace, um, especially with having the family for Christmas, needed more workspace. And I'd like some of these stainless steel tables eventually in my own kitchen. I've also made this. Uh, I had some plastic ivy and I had three lamps outside and I had uh, some fairy lights and I've made like a, a Harry Potter-esque hanging decoration. Uh, I'll tell you what, what, what a difference to, uh, to the start of the week and what a difference a lick of paint can actually do. So there we go, a little something this week for me and Nick to both enjoy. We do spend quite a lot of time in this room. Um, me cooking, editing, Nick researching things. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really kind of social room and I just wanted to make it a bit more fresher. So there's my week. And I've got to say, I'm looking forward to next week having a week in the Maison de Maitre. Now Nick's finished off the electrics 
in the temporary dining room. Woohoo! Hi. Hi! Welcome to Wine, Wine of the week. week from our new look kitchen. Yeah, you guys having a new kitchen? A new looking kitchen, but that's really old. Yes, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to get away with that. No. Anyway, um, it's that time of year again, and uh, it's Beaujolais Nouveau time, and we picked up three bottles at the supermarket, and uh, well, we're gonna open one of them now and uh, we'll see how the evening goes <laughs> um so which one are we gonna have i'm gonna go with this one because it's called because it says piss drew <laughs> yeah <laughs> or is it pissed are you <laughs> yeah yeah uh, with usually you either love it or hate it it's like Marmite or Vegemite? Well, and hopefully, well, luckily, it's nothing like Marmite. It's a, <laughs> a very light red wine. It's the first wine of 2022. It's always released, what date? Something like the 17th of November or something like that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and the characteristics are normally light and fruity. So if it's anything apart from that, we'll let you know. And I really don't think that you actually even need to let this breathe. No, you don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, another busy week. As you've seen, we've made good progress. Um, I've done some electrics this week in the, the Maison de Maitre. And uh, the rest of my week has really been spent out in the sheet. My, my week has just been really spent in this kitchen. <laughs> and uh, lovely it looks. And... Uh, yeah, I hope you'll agree with that. I think it's it's a bit more us now. Um, apart from obviously the kitchen units, you're not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <Yeah. laughs> so if you have enjoyed the episode, please click the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do that. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or on our website, which is www.theexpatbutchers.com where you can find our blogs. Here you go. Thank you very much. Get that around your chops, love. <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> no, no clinky clink. Yeah. In our high quality wine glasses. <laughs> that very drinkable. The next half hour will prove that point. I don't think I want to do what we originally did. We're not going to try all of them tonight. No, no, I don't, I don't want to. Moderation. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week. Cheers! Bye. <laughs>